Oh, Father God, I thank you for this morning Wednesday prayer. I thank you, oh God, for how you are going to use this prayer to, 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 to help your people out there, to help your children, to make them understand that nothing else can help them but prayer. Because prayer is the key. Prayer is power. Prayer is confident. Prayer is only thing that can help them. And today, God, I am going to give them the prayer, scripture prayer, so that they can be praying and know that you are always there. Psalm 91 said, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I declare and decree, O oh God, that your children, your people, will dwell in the shelter of your Most High, O oh God, and they will rest in your shadow, Almighty God. I declare and decree, O oh God, that you be their refuge and their fortress. You will protect them and you will be a God that they will trust in you. O oh Father, Lord, I pray, as you said in Psalm 91, that you will satisfy them. You said, I will protect him for he acknowledged my name. I decree, O oh God, that you protect, that God will protect you, protect your family. I decree that God, you will call upon God and God will answer you, answer your family, answer your husband, answer your children, answer your wife, answer you at work, answer you at home, answer you when you are going out, answer you when you are coming in, answer you whatever you pray your heart desire. God will be with you in trouble. God will be with your family in trouble. God will deliver you and honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. My God will give you long life and satisfy you with long life. With long life, my God will satisfy you. Satisfy your children. Satisfy your, your, your spouse. Satisfy your, 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 your people. Satisfy everyone, your friends, anyone that is close to you. My God will be with them in trouble. My God will deliver you all and honor you all. My God will, will, satisfy, will, will satisfy you all with long life and show you his salvation. God Almighty will show you his salvation. Because only God can do it. So Father, I declare and decree, O oh God, that you will not relent, O oh God, when they pray to you. Father, come now and answer the prayer of your son, your daughter, your, that is out there praying, Father. And when they ask how long will it be, Father, answer them immediately. Have compassion. I declare compassion on your servant there, on your, on your children out there. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you uh, that God will satisfy you in the morning. God will satisfy you with unfailing love in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will sing the song of joy and be glad in your own day. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I decree that God Almighty will make you glad as many days as you have been afflicted by, by, by all these things you have gone through. That God Almighty will make you glad as that many days. For so many years, as you have seen trouble, I decree that God Almighty will, will make you glad. That your deeds be shown, Father. That God Almighty will show his deeds on you in the name of Jesus, in your family, in your, in, in your children, in your spouse, in your job, in your career. In your, that God Almighty will show his deeds and be splendor to your children in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Isaiah 49, 8, can a plunder, uh, 24 through, through 26, can a plunder be taken from the warriors or captives rescued from the, from the pharaohs? But this is what the Lord God says, 
Yes, captives will be taken from the warriors and plunder retrieved from the first. I will contend with those who contend with you and your children I will save. I will make your oppressors eat their own flesh. They will be drunk on their own blood as sweet wine. Then all mankind will know that I am the Lord. I am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. This is the word of God. I didn't write it. It is the word of God. Because of it, I declare today because this is your Wednesday, Wednesday scripture prayer. And I want you to keep on praying this prayer because you will see scripture prayer is where God said, Give me back my word and see if I will not do what my word said. He is not, I'm not a man that I can lie, and nothing is too hard for me to do. Nothing is too hard for our God to do. So give him back his word. And today, this is one of the prayer you should carry everywhere you are going on your phone, on your earphone, put it and let it keep on pray so i declare and i decree that god your captivities and the wars the soul the struggles you are going through god said they will come that problem will come that they will set you up that things will come to enemies will come on you but listen the good news he said i will contend with those. god will contend with those who contend with you my brothers and sisters, I decree that God Almighty will contend with those who contend with you. And your children will, will, will be saved. God will save your children in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that your oppressors, your enemies, your, the enemies that want to take your life, that want to make you don't succeed, that have destroyed your destiny, that have tied your destiny down, that said you cannot make it. That enemy that is beating his hand on his chest and say, unless if he's not born, or unless he born you, or unless he's not living, that you not make. I declare today and I declare. That that enemy will eat his own flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care who that person is to you. Anybody that stand and beat your hand on their chest and say that you will not make it. And say your children will not make it. You will not get to your destiny. You will not get to your goal. If you are single, you will not marry. If you are, if you, if you are jobless, you will not get a job. If you are having a problem with, with finance, you are, having, you are poor, poor, that you will not be rich. That you... If, if you are having all sort of struggles, sickness that you will not be healed, that that say that you, your destiny will be scattered, that if you're in ministry, your ministry will not grow. I stand on the rock of ages, the authority of the word of God today. I stand in the authority of the blood of Jesus Christ, the power of the blood in the blood of Jesus. I stand in the authority of Jesus Christ that died in our for our sin. I stand in the in in the rock of all my forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and, 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 and Joseph, and David, I stand on them, and they hold my hands today to pray for you, that the word of God I proclaim and said, that that person that say you will not make it, I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your friend, your co-workers, your church member, I don't care if it's your mean, uh, 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 I don't care who the person is, they will eat their flesh, that's what the Bible say. All of them that contend with you, God will contend with them. Anybody that contend with you, God will contend with them. They, your enemy, God will arise and your enemy will scatter by fire, by thunder. God will arise. I declare, declare that God arise and scatter your enemy right now in the name of Jesus. God arise and scatter your enemy in the name of Jesus. And, they will, and God will save your children. And all of them that say you shall not make it. The power, the spirit, whatever it is that's following you around, that say you will not make it, we eat their flesh in the name of Jesus. They will drink their blood in the name of Jesus as wine. This is the word of God. And only did not write it. Then all mankind will know that the Lord Almighty is your Savior. I declare today that God Almighty is your Savior from now on. It's your Savior tomorrow. It's your Savior in the morning. It's your Savior in the afternoon. It's your Savior at night. It's your Savior when you're sleeping. 
living. The God Almighty will be your Savior and your Redeemer. The mighty one of Jacob. People will know that it's only God that can do it. They go say, this is God can do it. And God will gain glory. I declare, decree to you, my sister, to you, my brother, that your situation must change right now in the name of Jesus. As you hear this prayer, all you need to hear is keep on listening to this prayer and say amen. Even in the voice, when, I, when you hear me say in the name of Jesus, just claim it and say amen and amen and amen because the meaning of amen is that so be it. That is the meaning of amen is that we are in one accord. You are agreeing with God. You are agreeing with the word of God. You are agreeing with the scripture and you are agreeing with my prayer because he said when two or three are gathered together, he is in the midst. So say amen to this prayer and it shall be well with your soul and all things will work together for you that love the Lord. The word of God has spoken. And in Isaiah 49, he said, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though they may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your words are even before me, your sons his back, and those who lay you waste depart from you I declare and declare today that Father in the name of Jesus every word I've read, read today will come upon you in the name of Jesus, that God will never forget you, said it, I will never forget you, you out there that think that God has forgotten you that you're going through so much no end of it, you keep on going through, God will never forget, God will have compassion he said the mother can forget their suckling baby, but God, you see, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will never forget you. I will never forget you. And I will never forsake you. God said, I will be there because I crave you my hand, my power. So God sees you. He will see you in the morning. He will see you in the afternoon. He will see you in the, at night. In your struggling place, God will show up in your address. God will show up in your life. God will show up in your finance. God will show up in your job. God will show up in your duties. God will show up in your ministry. God will show up in your children. God will show you up in everything that concerns to you, my brother, my sister. God will show up and do what he said he will do in this word of God. As surely as God lives, declares the Lord, God Almighty will show up in your life. And after you hear this prayer, your life will not remain the same. All you need to do, my brothers and sisters, is to have faith in this prayer. Have faith! Pray it over and over and say, Amen. Amen means agreeing. Amen means signing the contract. Amen means you sure have faith that it will come to pass. So I don't know who I'm praying for out there. I don't know what you're going through, but I know one way or the other, this prayer will touch you in the name of Jesus. This prayer will touch your family in the name of Jesus. This prayer will touch your, 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 your children in the name of Jesus. Touch your husband, touch your wife, touch your children, touch your family, your siblings, touch your members that are around you, your job, your co-workers, your church members, your God. Prayer will touch everyone that has to do with your life. And turn this around. This prayer will change power, will change hand in the name of Jesus in your life. I declare and declare that power must change hand, change hand in the name of Jesus. And the power that is holding you down, I release that power, render that power useless right now in the name of Jesus. And the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of Holy Ghost, the power of Holy Ghost will rise you up again and again, and you shall not go down in the name of Jesus Christ. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, by the call of his name, every knee shall bow and every thought will confess that the mountain in your life must move now. In the name of Jesus, I command every mountain in your life right now to move. In the name of Jesus, level. In the name of Jesus, and turn to road. In the name of Jesus, and all your dryness, all your desert shall be flow with water and you will be a a plant that planted by the riverside, Masu Kendelebo Shala, Kele Sakalaba, Kolosa, you will be a 
one tree planted by the riverside will never dry even in the summertime. You will keep on growing even in your old age. You will keep on growing because my God is not a man that you should lie. He's not a person that you should repent. He's a God Almighty and his name is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of you. He created you. Therefore, is any word that is against the word of God in your life, I decree and declare today that I cancel that word and nullify that word by the blood of Jesus Christ and nullify that word in the name of Jesus Christ and pour the word of God upon you today. Mm, like a water, it will flow like a river. Every stagnancy in your life, every stagnancy that makes you stay in the, in the treadmill, just running in the same place, I rebuke stagnancy in your life right now and nullify it and send it to hell and I brought the spirit of forwardness. No more backwardness in your life. No more stagnancy. Stagnant water smell. You shall not smell no more, but you shall be a moving water. You should be a moving river. You should be a sweet smelling water. In the name of Jesus, no more backward. Backward, never forward ever. In the name of Jesus, backward, never forward ever. In the name of Jesus, backward, never forward ever. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will be all this word that I pray today will come upon your life today, will come upon your family, will come upon your husband, your children, will come upon everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus I send the spirit of breakthrough in the name of Jesus in your life. Breakthrough, prosperity breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Career breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I pray that marriage breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I pray that all breakthrough, all round breakthrough, healing breakthrough that you are sick of from the top of your head to your so to, to the top of, from the top of your head to your to to to, to down your 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 soul that you shall be healed because my word the Bible say by his stripes you shall be healed so I pray the breakthrough of healing right now in the name of Jesus you that one that have cancer that is listening to me I say cancer listen to me and listen carefully. I send you a notice. Get out of that person right now in the name of Jesus. Get out of that body right now in the name of Jesus. That body is the vessel of God. It's not the vessel of Satan. It's not the body of Satan. It's the body of God. So get out cancer. Get out diabetes. Get out sickness. Get out fever. Get out malaria. Get out every sickness. Flu. Get out in the name of Jesus. Oh, shame Get out every sickness by your stress. You are healed right now. All sickness, get out of that body and let that body live by the blood of Jesus. And I cleanse that body by the blood of Jesus. I wash that body by the blood of Jesus. That sickness shall not come no more. Burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, I pray. That every young people out there, children that are going around, Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of marijuana in the two young children as they legalize marijuana in this country. Oh, God is killing our children, is killing our daughters, is killing women and men. Father, I rebuke the spirit of marijuana that is destroying our people, destroying our children, destroying our men, and destroying our women. You spirit of marijuana, go to hell in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it and nullify. I don't care what they legalize. I nullify it by the blood of Jesus Christ. I bring uh, the spirit of marijuana as a enmity to anyone that is taking it right now. Anyone that taking marijuana. I bring it as a enmity. Spirit, go separate them from that in the name of Jesus. Let the marijuana become enemy to all of them. The youngest and boys that are smoking it. The adults that are smoking. Bring enmity between them with marijuana. In the name of Jesus, you that spirit of marijuana die by fire. Get out of them in Jesus' name. Every spirit of homosexual, every spirit of homosexual. Oh, my sake, lebo shanta. Get out of that man and get out of that woman because God created John and Mary, not man and man, not Mary American. Lebo shanta, Rabbi, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The Father, you take this prayer and touch your children. 
Let them understand that you, where you created this world, so shall it be. No changing, no legalizing of anything that is not of God. Our Father, let your word be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. In the name of Jesus, and enough is enough. God, hear my prayer this morning. Hear my prayer this afternoon. Hear my prayer this night because I don't know where your children will hear it. And Father, do everything that this mad word I've spoken. Do not let it go void. Oh, Father, let it be. And so be it. So shall it be. And sealed by the blood of Jesus. Sealed by the power of Jesus. Sealed by God. Sealed by the power of the Pentecost. Filled by the power of the Holy Ghost. And sealed by the hand of God that no power can stop this prayer from spreading from going to families that need it to that person that need it to the world to the nation father i pray all this in your matchless name mighty name great provider name i am that i am name my king name the door name let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, my God, my rock, my mentor, my teacher. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you.